guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sammy from go Sammy Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how I customize my brand new iPad Air 4 I recently made a video unboxing list so make sure if you haven't seen that yet to go check that out I've been loving it so far I really think taking the time to customize it makes it feel like even more special like it's uh, a reflection of your personality throughout it and it makes me enjoy using it even more I'll show you a little clip here of what it looks like right now and we'll go through all of it then so I'm going to show you guys how to customize your home screen your widgets your apps and I even found a way to make custom app covers without the lag of going to shortcuts and I'm so happy I found that because before that I wouldn't deal with that but now that I have that I was able to totally change everything on here and I think it looks so cool and I'll make sure to have timestamps down below in case there is a certain section at that you guys want to skip to all right so before we get into the video if you're not subscribed please make sure to subscribe down below and leave a like and a comment it truly does help my channel I'm hoping to do a lot more with my iPad soon so make sure to join our little family below and let's get into the video okay so the first thing I did to customize this is my case I got this before I even got the iPad I really do like this one but I am gonna explore with other ones soon uh, it's like a rose gold so it matches like like the actual rose gold of the um, of the iPad as well and one thing I really like about this case is that it has a little slot for my Apple pencil where you can stick it in and you won't lose it because I would totally lose it um, and this also turns into a stand so it can be up like this I've been really enjoying watching um, either Netflix or YouTube videos in the morning while I'm getting ready and it's super nice um, or you can make it like flat like that too which is super cool i have yet to get a screen protector i want to do that soon i kind of want to i keep on seeing things about these paper like ones i'm thinking of trying that because i plan on doing a lot of design stuff on here and a lot of people say that that helps them out okay so when you first get in here i'll get a screenshot of it if it's too bright for the screen but i've been playing around with the different graphics on the front and i decided that i wanted to make a little vision board my other screen's different than this one this is just my lock screen i want to make a vision board for this one and i really like how it turned out i did this with my um, mac a little bit ago so um, I just have uh, some inspirational quotes, some photos, things I'm hoping to do in the next year and stuff like that. Just so when I first open it, um, I get a little inspiration. This is what my front screen looks like when you first go in. I really love how I was able to do all this. Um, I tried doing the shortcuts thing with my phone and I hated the lag time and I was actually able to get these covers without that uh, through a whole different thing. I'll show you guys at the end of the video how to do that and um, I'm just so happy I found it because I, I do really like how this looks but I wouldn't want this if it had that lag to it so I'm really happy I figured out how to do that. So I'll show you guys that at the end. So this is what it looks like um, when you first open it up. I have my widgets on the side here and I kind of went for a nice uh, light pink kind of theme. Um, so let's start off with the widgets. Um, so over here I have my widgets. Um, I have my date or my calendar so one thing I like to do get some of these pretty widgets I use widget smith and I love how they look but I hate when you go to tap on them and it doesn't take you to a calendar it takes you to widget smith so that's a pain in the butt but I like how it looks so I basically stack the real um, app for it behind it so that it's still there and I can still use it so if I want to schedule something I tap on it and um, it's there um, I'll show you guys how to stack those in a second um, and then in the middle here I've got a bunch of inspirational photos depending on the day of what I want to look at today I want to look at me and my fiance <laughs> um, one thing I really like is this um, it tells you your battery percentage and it also tells you the battery percentage of your pencil and mine is dead right now because I haven't been charging it but it'll pop up there and tell me the percentage of that when it's on. I have a little inspirational quote, life begins at the end of your 
comfort zone. And then I have some of the uglier, not uglier widgets, but they're not as pretty, I guess, uh, down here so that when you first open up, you don't even see them, so it's not a big deal, but they're things that I want on a daily basis. So I have my notes and my reminders um, widget. I use them a ton, um, so that's why I wanted them there. So how do we get these widgets? So I'll give you guys a quick little widget smith tutorial we're just going to widget smith okay so this is the widget smith app so we are just going to create a fake one here to show you um how it's done so how it works is there's a bunch of different options you can have a small widget medium widget or a large widget i find myself mainly using the medium and the small so to create a small widget click uh, add small widget then click on it click on it again and so it gives you all these options so you can have your date your time uh, your calendar photos I've done that a couple of times um, I'll show you how I made that carousel your battery icon um, events uh, activity we should do a text um, so that we can show you all the other options so um, calendars you can basically choose what you want to show up on this uh, the font you can customize then the um, the tint which is um, basically the um, the text and then the background color I've been using a lot of like pale pink and then you can decide if you want a border or not like that so um, so once that's done um, I like to name them so this will be we'll just call it events so now you've created the widget how do we get it on your home screen so go back to your home screen now with iPad unfortunately you can only do widgets in this little sidebar here but that's okay um, so how do we get it on the sidebar you're going to go over here and you're going to go down to edit then you want to go to the little plus sign up in the corner and then these are all different at widgets you can add so you can add like the notes one and stuff like that so that's how i got some of the basic ones there you want to look for widget smith click widget smith and we want the small widget okay so but when you see that you see oh it went to this one that i have up here well to get it to be the one that you want you basically tap on it and um the one that we just created is called events and there it is bam so the next thing is what if you want to stack your widgets so like how I have these where you can flip through them like that these are just like plain widgets so to stack them just press down on it so that you can move it and then you can just hover it over another one and now they are connected so you can now flip through them just like that so that's basically what these are these are all individual photo widgets that I have stacked over top of each other um, and then these are just some of the plain widgets that come with the iPad that you can just add by going down to edit and plus so like all of these are different apps that you can add so if you want podcasts or photos or even Pinterest so it's easy and accessible for you you can add those if you would like to Okay, so the next thing I did is I changed the background of my iPad. I wanted it to be kind of simple and kind of have a cute color to go with the themes. So to do this, I actually just went to Pinterest. There's a ton of like free backgrounds on Pinterest, uh, which I think is really cool. Um, take you to my board. So I just have a little thing of wallpapers. If uh, if you guys want to follow me on Pinterest, I'll have it linked below. It's probably just Go Sammy Joe. This is probably like my sixth Pinterest account because I always forget my login. So I just created this one. So I've got a bunch saved with the color scheme I was going for. This is the one I use for my background. So basically you just search like background and the colors or kind of a theme that you're going for and usually you'll get a bunch. And then you can pin them to a board these are all pinned to my wallpaper board and then if you want to download it you hit the three dots and then just click download image and then to um, make a photo a background all you have to do is click a photo the arrow 
and then go down here and you can hit use as wallpaper. So as you can see here, these are all the icons that I uh, am using for my apps and I'll show you guys how to do that too. So the next thing with my apps that I did was to search icons so that I can make them all custom and make them all fit. Now you can see that mine are all a very pinkish, uh, very similar tone. So basically we're gonna go back to Pinterest again and all you want to search is like Pinterest or whatever app you're looking for. Pinterest uh, app cover. And you'll get a bunch of different options. Now if you know you want a pink one, you can type pink or let's say we want to do a blue one. Just type in blue and some options will come up for you. So I basically did this with every one of my apps and just uh, saved them all. Also, um, I, if you like the color scheme I'm, I have going on here, I do have a board on Pinterest where I saved all the ones that I used. I just have it in my cover app board and you can see all the ones I saved. I didn't use all of these, but majority of them I did. So what you do is you download those and um, save them to your photos so that when we go to make your app covers, um, it'll look all nice. Okay, so the next thing I did is I tried to organize my apps on the page in um, kind of different sections. Like on the first page, I have um, basically very um, basic things that I use for my iPad, like my notes, reminders, camera photos, stuff like that. And then I have my social media on the bottom row there. And then on the back page here, I have my creative stuff and some of my entertainment stuff linked together. And then on my little bar down here, I have my messages, Safari, email, and files, which I feel like um, is what I have on my phone too, so it's pretty basic. So when you go to make these app covers, if that's what you decide to do, you still have to keep the apps on your iPad, it doesn't have like that new swipe feature that the iPad does. So I have them on the very last page by themselves um, in these little folders right here so that they're still there but they're kind of like out of my way. Okay, so how did I create these app covers without any lag? So I'll show you. So if I want to go in Photoshop, it opens up right away. Where if you've tried doing this with through just the shortcuts app, you'll notice there's a lag where it goes to shortcuts and then goes to the thing. And I think that is so annoying. I hate that. Um, the only downside of this, it worked great for all of the apps except for the ones that are Apple's apps, like the photos and the camera app. There might be a little lag like that it's still less than it um so but most of those things i don't use a lot and the things that i do use a lot i have over here like my um notes and my reminders and stuff so they're easy to access so it's really only these uh, ones in the top here that are a pain but everything else is like super quick which i think is nice so how how was i able to do this i'm not gonna lie to you guys it was a process to get it done um, I honestly don't even know if I can explain it as good as the other person did. So I am going to link the video um, that I used to create these app covers down in the description so that you guys can go through the same process I did. You're going to be downloading this shortcut that's go and then you're going to have to enable um, unapproved shortcuts. It's something something like that and then um, when you go when you finally have all that downloaded you are going to go to your shortcuts app it's called icon themer you're going to hit that I have trouble figuring this out on the iPad um, I followed it for like iPhone but I found an iPad video then that explained it then you're gonna hit this little plus button up in the corner here and it's gonna take a second so you're gonna search for the app in the app store so i haven't done like imovie yet so let's do imovie okay you click on it and that's just letting you know that there could be like a lag with it choose from photos um i don't know if i saved an imovie oh that's kind of like an iMovie one. All right, we'll save that. Label it iMovie. Done. And sometimes the app, sometimes this will crash if you do more than one. So I'm doing each app one at a time. So 
I'll say create my icons and then we're just going to type iMovie and then install on my device allow close click here install your passcode Oops. install install and done so then we'll go here and there's iMovie perfect that's how you do that so i want to show you guys how i created my little vision board quick i use a app called canva i think canva is great it's so easy stick and easy to use so um but first what i do is i uh, go to pinterest and i usually create a board of images that i want to use and in combination with some of my own personal images of so I like using it as a vision board so I like putting goals and stuff like that inspirational quotes so I basically go to Pinterest make a board for it do I have a vision board on here <laughs> it's on my old Pinterest board but um, you know you'll have like a board with like inspirational like photos that you want and then I download all those photos then you go over to Canva. I do have the pro version of Canva, but there is a lot you can do even without the pro version of Canva. Um, I have a video on how I created this for my um, for my MacBook too, so you guys can check that out um, if you want a detailed video of it. So um, keep current selection. So this is basically um, what it looks like all these are just like different collaged um photos so um of photos so let's create a new one quick custom design uh let's do the same one that we just did i like to add a background color and then um Go to my uploads of different images that I upload. Um, and then you can just start to resize them and place them different places. So I'll just start to select different photos. You can resize them, put them different places like that. And then you can, um, then you can even add like elements, um, like these, I have one of these in mine and put them random places or even texts of things that you want to include and make a little collage and that's how I did it. Okay guys, so that is about it. That's how I customized my new iPad Air 4. I really love how it turned out. I find that I really enjoy going on it now that I've really customized it to myself. I just really enjoy it. So I hope this video helps you customize your very own too. I'd love to see how you guys customize yours. So uh, so if you end up doing it and you've seen this video, make sure to share it with me on Instagram. My Instagram's at GoSammyJo. Send me a message and show me what they look like. And if you enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and a comment. It really does truly help uh, grow my channel. And make sure to keep an eye out for more iPad videos. I'm still in the very early stages of learning it. I want to do a what's on my iPad video too. I was going to make this one possibly it but I feel like there's more apps and stuff that I haven't gotten into yet that I want to um, get into more and make sure I have everything on my iPad uh, before I do that video so that will be coming sometime soon and if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments and I'll make sure to answer you all right thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye